Welcome back to C Turbo X channel. Okay, today what we are doing is we are making a test prop. I uh, put my lower unit back together and um, I need to still work on setting my idle and everything and I found out from my last adventure that it was kind of a pain in the ass to try and do on the water to get all the base stuff set, set up. For me personally, maybe for somebody else it's not at all. Um, but I'd much rather use a test tank at home and get my idle set up with the added back pressure. Um, so what I did was I took my old 17 pitch prop I have here and I'm going to take a third off of each ear and kind of square them off a little bit um, so that it still works but it's not giving the same amount of thrust and it's getting a load put on it. Uh, something similar to what you're going to get in the water, but not exactly. Um, so how I did this was I basically traced out one of the blades here and then marked out where I thought about a third was to kind of get rid of this nice point and, and then cut that out. And I traced it along each one so that now all these have a mark on them and I don't know if you can see that with the sunlight or not um, each one has a mark on it now showing where I'm gonna cut and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sawzall cut through it's just aluminum um, and then I'm gonna take my grinder and kinda just smooth it all out uh, that way I have a, an extra prop because this one's kinda dinged up it's missing some teeth and, and stuff like that so that I can put on the back of the boat when I make this test tank um, I'm going to start hacking and then I'll let you guys see where we're at from there. Alright, so here's what we have so far. Uh, my battery on my sawzall died and I don't have a corded sawzall. I wish I did, but you got to use what you got. So, here's the side. What you do is you mark it out. <coughs> Basically, you just start hacking at it, touching the corners, uh, wherever you want with your sawzall. Um, and just... You know, square off the edges, just don't go past it because you want this thing to be balanced, equal. So then what you end up with is a side that kind of looks like that, okay? And then once you got that, you take your grinder to it and you smooth it out. So you basically just repeat that process to all three until you end up with this. Um, and in comparison, you can see that's the the old blade and that's the new guy all right so it's about a third off from what it is um, I had the piece here that's about what I took off from the end you know so pretty straightforward pretty easy to do um, reason why you would want to do something like this is that they have test wheels and the the test wheels are um, they're normally for a certain horsepower uh, this will work on a wide range of motors um, and allow you to put it in a test tank without putting too much pressure into the <coughs> from the thrust of the propeller and causing the water pump to cavitate and uh, next thing you know you're sucking air and you're running the thing dry and you're overheating your motor um, and it'll help you put a little bit of load on your on your motor to to find out where your you know your idle setting is and once you put it in gear um, it'll help you with those basic settings before you go out in the water and really really fine tune it all you know so this is just a good way of doing it if you got a spare one that's great if not you know you can always buy a junk one for real cheap and hack it up like this um, and it'll work for all different motors that all have the same you know thing here I'm gonna proceed on and I'll show you what it uh, looks like when I'm done so here you have it it's all Shaved off and rounded off, and the only other thing that I recommend that you do is, you know, paint the sucker. <clears throat> the ones that I've seen before had uh, <clears throat> like an awkward color on it, just so you know if it's sitting on your shelf, what the hell it is. It has nothing to do with anything else. You know that it's your test prop all the time. But I've got some <clears throat> nice metallic silver rust-oleum I'm going to hit it with and call it done. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe.